Dear students, in the previous class we have done the lesson the best job in the world. So today we will start with a poem in the bazaars of Hyderabad by Sir Johnny Naidu. Before studying the poem, let's know about the writer Sir Johnny Naidu. Sir Johnny Naidu, she was an Indian political leader. She was the eldest daughter of a Ghori Nath Chattopadhyay, a Bengali Brahmin who was principal of the Nizam College, Hyderabad. At a young age, Sir Johnny wrote poetry and plays, a hobby. She kept throughout her life. She later studied in England, and in the year nineteen hundred sixteen, she met Mahatma Gandhi, which sparked her interest in the fight for India's freedom. At the time when she met Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi was fighting for the freedom of India. So she also took an interest. Sarojini also took an interest in the fight. for india's freedom so in the year 1925 she was elected as the first female president of the indian national congress so when after independence after india's independence from england naidu she became the first woman governor of uttar uttar pradesh sarojini naidu is also known as the nightingale of india Do you know why she is known as the Nightingale of India? Because of her contribution to poetry. Her mother was herself a great poet, and she used to write poem in Bengali. So, having been an exemplary figure in Indian literature, Sarojini work are spread in every nook and corner of India. Everybody knows her work about her poem. her story in each and every corner of india so a few of her best notary works are let's see what are the works the indian fantasy ecstasy the queen's rival the royal tombs of glokonda the snake charmer india then indian gypsy daimant nala in the hour of exile etc so so in this poem the bazaars of hyderabad here sorjani describe magnificent things of life along with common scene in the bazaar of hyderabad so the poem is said in the form of conversation between customer and vendors i think students you know what used to happen in the bazaars in the market when you go for buying vegetables or go for shopping with your parents with your family members so what used to happen there used to be a conversation between the buyers and the sellers so this poem is also same case of buyers and sellers so let's see the poem in the bazaars of hyderabad what do you sell oh ye merchants richly your wares are displayed turbans of crimson and silver tunics of purple brocade mirrors with panels of amber daggers with handles of jet in this stanza that is in the first stanza the poems begin with the poet question to the merchants about what what is the question about about what they are selling so she sees that the goods are played nicely played nicely means kept nicely to attract the buyers the merchants then reply that they are selling what they are selling crimson so here crimson means deep red color and silver deep red color that is crimson and silver color turbans and purple brocade tunics mirror with amber frame and daggers with handles made of jet green stone when you used to go to market what do you see in the market so many things yes or no you see grocery items or the clothes in the stores are kept are hang in an attractive way the colors are making attractive to the customer so when you are going for buying you see they are arranged in a 
डिसिप्लिन वे सो यू सी इट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू बाई इट इट एट्रैक्ट यू द थिंग्स एट्रैक्ट यू एंड यू वॉन्ट टू बाय द थिंग्स फ्रॉम द मार्केट सो नाउ लेट सी स्टेंजर टू वट डू यू वे ओ ये वैंडर्स सेफ्रॉन एंड लिटिल एंड राइस वट डू यू ग्रीन ओ ये मैडन्स सैंडलवुड हेना एंड स्पीस वट डू यू कॉल ओ ये पैडलर्स चीसमैन एंड आइवरी डाइस इन दिस स्टेंजा इन द सेकेंड स्टेंजा वट हैपन द पॉइट दैन विजिट to the street vendors and the peddlers peddler means the salesmen and also the maidens maidens are the young girls and the poet asks vendors what they are doing so they say they are selling saffron little the poet then asks the maiden girls what they are grinding so the girls reply that they are grinding sandalwood enough and spice and now the peddlers are asks the poet asks then after that the poet asks the peddlers that what they are calling as their trade cry so they are calling yes or no so what they how they are calling cheesemen and ivory dice they are calling that there is an ivory dice so the peddlers reply to the poet that they are selling just men and ivory dice mat of ivory for what for the game of chess students today we will end our class with this two stanza in the next class we will continue with the remaining stanza dear students i would also like to hear from you about what do you see in the market when you go for shopping or marketing with your parents or with your family members share your answers on the proper time mention and in case of any doubt you can get back to me as per the time that is given to you student please read the lesson and go through the word meaning that is given in your text thank you